unless we get any flooding, which I doubt we will as we've had much heavier rain than this in the last couple of days. You can see that spray again. If you're at the back of that field, you won't see a thing. Armstrong's got the jump. And Anderson's gone through as well. They all going to make it through. So Armstrong, Anderson, and Trey Nan is right up there. Buckley's gone right back to the fifth spot. Yardley's gone by, and Caleb Cross is putting some pressure on to Buckley there. He'll be uh, kicking himself for that one. But they've all made it through, which is uh, impressive in these wet conditions. Armstrong just driving away now. He's really showing his class this weekend. Anderson in the second spot. Still no one coming together. They're all being very sensible in this early stage of the pre-final. So Armstrong leads. Anderson trying to go with him. And there goes Ryan Yardley down the inside of Trey Nard to take the third spot. Buckley's got himself in behind there and Caleb Cross is putting a lot of pressure on him. It looks like Cross has got a bit more speed. And the 43... Not sure who that was. Uh, I've mixed that number up. Not a, not a good way to start your pre-final. And there's a retirement there, so I'm not sure who that was as well. And there's another cut that's gone around by the looks. So still, Armstrong leads Anderson with Yardley. Not far behind. Armstrong and Anderson certainly setting the pace today in the wet, wet conditions. You can see the, the water coming down from the sky. It's, uh, it's only going to get wetter from here. A lot of the guys will have put in uh, clear visors so that they're not getting as much uh, impairment to their vision. It's hard enough to see uh, without your visor fogging up in these conditions. Or uh, as I mentioned before, it's getting a lot darker here. So any tinting in that visor is going to make it much harder to see. So Armstrong still. Anderson doesn't look like he can catch him. Yardley there in third. Caleb Cross has dropped off the back of Buckley a little bit there. And it looks like, uh, as I mentioned, Drysdale was looking forward to the rain. He's um, he's actually uh, been one of those carts that got caught up. So he's two laps down now. The spray coming off those tyres is huge. So if you're sitting in behind a group of three or four and you can see the puddles there um, into that last turn, you really want to stay out of those puddles, especially... Uh, if you're going to suck water into that motor, you're just, you're going to go nowhere. So Armstrong could be relaxing there in that uh, top spot now. He doesn't need to, to push too hard as uh, Anderson's not uh, really close enough to put any pressure on. And the conditions as they are, you don't want to put yourself in a situation where you make a mistake. Armstrong miles ahead now. So six laps to go now of this 11 lap pre-final. The order as it stands, Armstrong, Anderson, Yardley, Nunn, Buckley, Cross, Woods, Cranston, Patterson, and Naidu rounding out the top 10. Still no one wants to do anything silly. It's going to be a very interesting race come the final if it uh, stays like this, which I can almost guarantee it will. It's sort of breaking through a little bit of cloud now. You can see a little bit of blue, but it's, it's very wet now, so still see the rain pouring down. 
And there's a couple of cuts that have gone wide there. It's oh, a couple of them have come together too. Not sure who that was. It looks like Buckley's dropping down. So Buckley may have got caught up in that, which is uh, not what he wants. That race is, uh, this has gone bad for worse to him, for him. He was performing really well there, so. Looks like uh, the order after that last lap, Armstrong, Anderson, Yardley, Buckley's gone out of that spot. Caleb Cross is now up to fifth. See, that's the, that's the danger with these wet conditions. Very hard to see, and then if you do see something, it's a, it's very difficult to uh, to get out of the way of it. So four laps to go. Armstrong still with a big lead, showing all this experience that he's built, going over to America, running uh, junior shifters over there, been up into Europe recently doing the uh, the Euro challenge up there so he's really showing his class Anderson still looking good but he's uh, he's got nothing for Armstrong and there's another cut gone up into the grass not sure who that was Caleb Cross has done well to just stay out of trouble in this one. You can see all the water spray. There's a big uh, wide puddle on the exit of that uh, that right hander there. Smart move would just be to run the car a little bit tighter, maybe a little bit slower, but then you're avoiding that puddle. Standing water and, uh, and wet tyres don't mix well. Standing water in any tyres don't mix well. So Armstrong comes through with two laps to go now. Massive lead. 5.2 seconds back to second spot. So Armstrong's dominating. Anderson in second. Yardley third. Doesn't really look like anyone's close enough to pass anyone on... Uh, on these last two laps. This group here is getting a little closer. So Armstrong has come by now for the last lap Anderson and Yardley is uh, looking pretty comfortable there he seems to have pulled in Anderson on these last couple of laps he's a little bit quicker he's going to run out of time a couple of carts looking up to, uh, defensive down that into that first turn no one's going to make a move down there Armstrong miles ahead of the pack. Almost showing off now how far ahead he is. He's got that gap up to just under six seconds. So Armstrong comes around to take the chicken flag in the pre final for the Rotex Max Junior class. Anderson in second. Yardley third, he uh, picked up a little bit of pace there towards the end. Train on in uh, fourth place, sorry. Caleb Cross fifth. Sixth is Cranston. Bailey Patterson seventh. Naidu in eighth. Woods ninth. Caleb Nato in the tenth spot. Amy Smith eleventh. Buckley uh, got himself back to twelfth, so I'm fairly certain he got caught up in that, uh, that incident that we saw Maddie Stewart in uh, 13th spot Polishek in 14th Ashley Stewart 15th Leighton Stanton in the 16th spot with Taylor Hart 
Clark McFadson, McFadson, sorry, Zach Thompson, and 10 laps down, Dylan Drysdale, so he's obviously retired there. After I uh, promised so much from him 